Hey guys, so I am back with another video. So, hey guys, I'm back with another video. Thank you so much for stopping in and checking out my channel and sticking through this with me. And for all you guys who have been here for a long time, shout out to you for supporting me. I love it. Thank you. You guys are great. Um, new guys, if you are new here and you like hair care videos, skincare, makeup, consider subscribing and turn your notifications on so you do not miss an upload. I plan on being back here. I say this often because I have a lot of things going on, which will be in a update video coming very soon. So if you have any questions, leave them account in the comment section and I'll make sure I add those to that video. But I missed you guys. I love filming. If you guys don't know, I love, love, love sitting down here and filming for you guys. It's just so fun and just so therapeutic for me. Um, or one of the things that I like to do, like that's therapeutic and really like frees my mind and like just really clears my mind is sitting down and filming or editing because it's, I'm not thinking about anything else but that in that moment. So I love being here, even if I'm not here that often, I understand that it is not on purpose. It is not because of you guys. I love you guys. You guys support me and follow me on Instagram. So you guys, if I'm ever missing from YouTube, just follow me on Instagram. I am on there um, pretty much daily um, for the most part. But um, my work and my work school life balance have been really off for the past few months. So I haven't been able to actually sit down and film, yet alone edit. So I am just so thankful that you guys have been sticking it out with me. I really, really, I really appreciate that 125%. You have no idea. But anyway, we're going to hop into this hair video. We are, we're, we're I'm going to get into the, my thoughts on this wash and go at the end but first let's hop into this wash and go video so you guys can check it out like i said turn your notifications on if you have not already and hit that subscribe button so you do not miss a upload okay honey let's get into this wash and go and then i will come back with my thoughts on what i think about this wash and go and if you guys can tell by my face you already know what i think Okay guys, so I'm starting off with the freshly washed and deep conditioned hair. I did apply my leave-in in the shower, which I normally do, and I just put like either a shower cap or a plastic bag, just to kind of let it, you know, marinate, and I don't want it to dry out before I start styling my hair. I do realize that it's a little blurry right here, but don't worry, I'm gonna fix it in about 2.5 seconds, so don't click out of the video. It won't stay blurry. I noticed, see, I'm noticing. Boom, it's fixed. So now I'm gonna go in with the hair milk butter from Carol's Daughter and I'm just gonna apply that on top of the leave-in that I already had on my hair after I, you guys saw me like kind of re-wet my hair a little bit because I wanted my hair to be pretty damp for this. Um, so I just go in with that and apply like a good amount. This stuff is so thick, guys. It's so thick, but it's so moisturizing. I freaking love it. It is bomb.com. Um, next, I go in with the, I believe this is the Jamaican Mango and Lime Castor Oil in, I think this is the Pimento one. I apply that after the cream and I just kind of use my wide tooth comb to detangle and then I'm going to separate that section into two smaller sections. So when I'm working with the gel, you know, I like to work in smaller sections and I'm just going in and smoothing all of the product in so that it's nice and smooth. I believe I go in with my dimming brush um, as well just to do some more detangling. Um, I, yes, yep, I do. See, I, I know what I'm doing. I remember. So now I'm gonna go in with my gel. I believe this is the Wet Line Extreme Gel. This is the one with the like navy top, I guess the new version. And I just go in and I do, you know, re-wet my hair as needed. And I believe I go in and shingle my hair at the end. Let's wait and see. shingle the 
hair. Okay, you saw that, right? We, we didn't shingle the hair. I believe I just shingle a little bit in the front. Um, but, you know, let's, let's not commit to that, but... Oh, no, there I go. I start shingling. I'm shingling. I forgot. I didn't remember. And sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't. But I go in and shingle. See, just, just give it a minute. It all comes together. I go in and shingle my hair. Um, and I do this all over my head. Because I know if I did it in the back, I did it all over. So I definitely shingled my entire head. Which usually is what gives me a really super defined wash and go. Which kind of, um, I don't want to say it takes away from the volume. But sometimes it does depending on what products that I use. Um, especially like on day one or day two. But um, my hair was actually pretty, I mean I had volume, but it was more defined than volume. So I go in and shingle my hair and then I pretty much repeat these steps all over my head. I'm gonna kind of shut up now because it's the same thing for the rest of the video. And yeah, I'll be back at the end. my hair looks after I applied all of the product. I do go and sit under my hooded dryer for about an hour and I stretch how I normally stretch with my blow dryer. And yeah, that is it for the application and let's get into what I think and the final result. Okay, so this is the completed hair after I've stretched it. I did not stretch it that much. Um, if you guys follow me for a long time, you know when I do like really defined wash and goes, I don't stretch my hair that much. Um, so I didn't stretch it a lot, but I did stretch it enough. Um, I probably could have stretched this little side right here a little bit more, but it's good for now. I am telling you guys, this wash and go combo, baby. Let me just, I don't even pick up this big thing. This thing is so heavy. I wish it still had, they put the handle on this dark blue one. <laughs> I know, extreme line. Don't be, don't be spoiling us in the beginning and then like falling late. This right here, baby. Do y'all hear that? This right here? Oh my God. Magic. Magic. I'm telling you, this thing is, this combo right here, okay? And the oil, like, I ain't gonna leave her out too. My little castor oil. This is the one um, from Jamaican Mango and Lana, the hemp oil. You can use any castor oil, honestly. This might be my new, this is my go to. 
effort for this. Like, I can always tell when my hair is super moisturized and shiny by how dark it is. Like, it doesn't look ashy. It just looks black. Black, black. <sighs> and I love when my hair looks like that. You know, my, you know, besides the little grays that are right there. <laughs> We're going to ignore those for now, okay? Mind your business, okay? Your girl is not a spring chicken, okay? Nonetheless, but the hair... Like, do you guys see, do you see the definition? The definition, like the moisture, it's not greasy. There's not like this really, obviously when I dried it, there was like a crunch. Obviously there's always gonna be a gel cast when you use gel. So like you guys be doing too much. I was like, oh, it's so hard, it's so crunchy. Like squeeze it out, okay? Nonetheless, it feels so freaking soft, okay? So freaking soft. It's just, it's just magic, guys. Like, I'm glad I, I, like, took my time and decided what I was going to use on my hair today and did a little bit of research. Or well, see what a little bit of research can do for you. So I've been doing the LOC method for years, and I love that method. I'm not even going to hold you. I love that method when I am doing, like, braid outs and twist outs and things like that. Like, I love that method. That works. But if I'm using the gel, specifically the wet line extreme gel, doing that L C O method and then the gel on top, so is that L C O G method? Magic. 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 Like who what Yes, I love it. I love it. I love how it came out. It's super soft, super divine. Um, it's definitely going to last me a few days, even though I'm probably going to wash this out in a few days anyway. I'm probably not actually I work all this week. So no, it's going to be this. This is it's super neat. It's super just 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 the right amount of frizz slash definition for me. I didn't pick it out too much. I probably can create like a little bit more volume, but I didn't want to disrupt the curls at all because they were just living for me okay i was like salivating at the mouth when i was looking at my hair after i stretched it i was just like even before i stretched it when i think i posted a picture a texture shot on instagram i'll try and insert it somewhere in the video i posted that picture on, and even when i was looking at that picture i was just like oh this is about to be the bomb wash it go this combo is really really great i love it it doesn't give me a lot of volume like I said, I probably could have stretched it out some more and all of that, but I didn't want to. I just didn't want to disrupt my curls too much. I really did not want to disrupt my curls at all. It, it made me smile, and I really, really needed that today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for stopping in and checking out my channel per usual. Make sure you guys subscribe and turn your notifications on so you do not miss an upload for the umpteenth time if you guys ever see me in my ear from here like i said check me out on instagram or facebook um i'll have all of my instagram pages down below also if you have any com uh, questions or comments that you want to add to my q a slash update video that i will be doing leave them down below or send me a message on instagram all right guys i will see you in my next one bye guys